Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that don't know, welcome back. <laughs> make sure to drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you too. And this is actually a request again. Most of the over 100 videos when it comes to Shopify customization, most of them not all of them but most of them are actually requests by subscribers and some of them not even subscribers but i'm fine with that anyone who made a request to make a video for a video for a trick i do provide them with the information he needs then i make a video uh, for other people that have the same questions but obviously if something complicated it cannot be displayed in a comment in text i need to display show how to do it then I make a video, I tell them to wait for it and I make a video. And in this video, I will show you how to hide a specific collection on all collections page in your Shopify store. And we will do that without using any apps or anything like that. We will use a single line of code that will do the trick. And the code is free as always. So <laughs> let's just quit talking and let's just get to it. As you can see here, I have Shopify dashboard in, in, in Google Chrome and this is the down team which is the team i do use uh, to do demonstration on and i have the 15 version which is the last one as of now and below if you see i have every other free team the most uh, like free ones on the most used ones taste sense taste sorry sense refresh spotlight and trade and all the tricks I do share, I do implement the trick on each one of these to make sure that it works for every other free team. And if you are using a paid team or premium team, pay me too. Why are you not paying me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Make sure you do ask the support for that because I don't have access to the code for the premium teams. I have to pay for the team in order to access the code for it so I can do the trick. That's not how it works. Robin Hood is dead We're a long time ago. <laughs> so let's just quit talking and show you how to hide a specific collection and all collections page on your Shopify store. So let me access Shopify store that I do the trick on, which is this one. And by the way, if you are interested on in how to how to change the color for the count bubble on the car, make sure to check out my channel. I already made that video, and it's one single line of code again. So let's just scroll down to, here we go. So this is all collections section in here. So I want to hide one of these. Let's just say the footwear. I want to hide the footwear collection from here. So it will not be displayed on any, not just on this section, on any section that's displayed, displays, sorry, all the collections on your Shopify store. So we will keep this page open. We will do the trick, come back in here and see if it works. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code it will take you to the code editor and then use the search bar at the top left corner and type in base and it will be either base.css or team.css or style.css all the teams must have this or it will not work properly so I repeat I have to say this on each one of my videos because People kept complaining about they cannot find base, they cannot find. It will be either base or base.css or style.css or team.css. Mine, I know it's base, so here it is base.css. Simply click on it and it will show you a bunch of CSS code. Then you need to scroll all the way down. Let me drag this down because it's pretty big, big file and huge. Here we go. So we are at the bottom of the file and make sure you access completely new line, nothing on it. If it doesn't exist, it was like this, simply click front of the closing bracket and hit enter. And here we go. We are at the bottom of the file in a completely new line. Then the next thing you're going to do is because we need to pass in code in here. And sometimes you need to hire a developer and pay him and wait for the time. You don't have to do none of that. Simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code. And simply click on it. It will take you to this page right here with very short code of one line or maybe more two lines. And it's completely free. No share, please. No pay, please. Nothing like that. Just a like button if this video helped you out. And wait until you see if it did, actually. Even if it didn't, don't press this like button. Just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. So obviously, you need to select the code in here. So let's just select the whole code. Make sure to select the whole thing. Otherwise, it will not work. Right click, copy. Then get back in here and simply paste it on the space where you create. 
After that, you see here, it looks like a URL, right? Collections slash collection dash name. If you use your brain a little bit, I think you know what to do now, right? You don't need to finish my video. <laughs> I'm just joking. Finish it to the last minute, to the last second. So simply you need to replace this with the collection name. So let's just get back. I said I want to change. I want to remove this. So let's just click on it to show me the URL and simply click uh, select the last one, which is footwear name for the or the handle, sorry, for the collection. So let's just uh, replace it here. Here we go. So we are good, I think. Let's just get back in here so we can see in action. So it's still here, as you can see. So let's just click on save button and see if that would work or not. So it's saved. Here we go. So it's still here. Let's just reload the page. Ta da! It's gone, as you can see. It will not be shown on any all collections section on any section of your Shopify store. And that's how you hide a specific collection on your Shopify store from the collections section easily without using any apps or anything like that. If you have any questions, drop them below. I will be happy to make you a video or show you the thing you're trying to do. Otherwise, I think my job here is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.